All right, so price books and products. We are going to discuss how you can set product pricing for different categories or different type of customers. So let's head over to our Trailhead Playground and I'm going to go and head over to products. I'm going to search it over here. Products and then I'm going to change to all products over here. And we have a bunch of diesel generator. There's the gasoline one, propane, and diesel here. So these all these all uh, are priced with one price book. We want to add another price book. Like for this example, we want to add um, a different region price book for West coast right so for the west coast we have a little bit of discount so how can you do that so for example your company is selling diesel generator for um, the whole united states and you want to create price books based on the region west coast east coast and maybe central and so on and so forth so how can you achieve that First, you have to create a new price book to cover that particular region. So you can you can do this with other stuff. For example, you want to create not just region. I mean, you want to create a price book for your staff, internal staff. If they buy a product and they work for the company, they get different pricing. Or maybe you have different uh, membership. Of your customer base and you want to um, have different pricing for gold members silver members bronze members standard members you can all play with that with this price book feature from Salesforce okay so let's stick with this example let's say we want to create a new price book for the West Coast and we're gonna name it West Coast manufacturing so to do that, basically you head over to price book. So this is the products, right? Now you want to create a new price book. Price book here. And click new. I want to make this West Coast or West Coast Manufacturing. Make it active. Um, prices for the West Coast okay I'm gonna hit save so now we have a new price book which is called West Coast manufacturing now we want to add a price for um, the products for this particular price book right so it's a book Imagine it is a book containing the price list for the West Coast. That's easy to imagine, right? So if I go back to products over here under more um, products and then all, let's say I want to uh, set the West Coast, maybe they don't like diesel and gasoline, maybe propane. So I want to you know set this price book 1500 kilowatt uh, for the west coast right so i'm gonna go the related uh, tab here and then we have the standard price book and the standard uh, and the standard pricing which is both the same now i want to add a a new price book so you click add to price book here and west coast manufacturing the currency is us dollar and hit next so we want to offer a discount so the standard price is 120 thousand dollar for this diesel uh, gen watt propane i want to change this to 110 thousand so a little bit of discount because they're having a hard time with the wildfires and everything so maybe another 10 thousand discount you know and hit save 
So now, this particular Genoet propane has a different price pricing for the West Coast price book. So for example, we want to sell this to an account, right? Basically, we want to create a new opportunity. Let's create a new opportunity. Let's say Tesla wants to buy that genset. So Tesla, let's buy a new genset for Tesla here. The amount is actually that particular price, which is $110,000, right? And then close date is today, the 22nd. And the stage is close one because they have plenty of cash. Type is existing customer. Um, upgrade. And then US dollar. And then I think that's it. So I'm going to hit save now. And we are going, oops, opportunity name. Genset for Fremont Factory. Tesla Inc. Save. And now we are going to add the product to this opportunity. Because this is just an opportunity. And I want to add the product to this opportunity. I'm going to dive in by clicking this on the opportunity. And we are going to add the product. Right? We have the details over here. So these are the details. But now I'm going to add the product that they are actually buying. So first I'm going to choose the price book which is West Coast Manufacturing because they are in the West Coast in Fremont and save. Now, because we have set the price book, we can add the product, okay? Add product. So Jen said, um, now it's only 100,000 and not 120,000, which is the price for the whole country. But for West Coast is only $100,000. So next, and then maybe they want to buy a couple. Okay, date is today and Jan what? 1500 kilowatt. Save that. That's it. So this is actually 200,000. Okay, it's picking up from the products. The amount changes automatically. So that's pretty much it. So that's how you can uh, set your price book and then define the price, uh, price book from here and then add the product and it will pick up the correct price once you pick which price book you want to use. All right, so that's basically it. So we want to go ahead and do the challenge now. We've done that. We've done the opportunity. We've sell one even a couple of gensets. Now let's do the hands-on challenge. Create a price book named Northwest Diesel Generator Sales. All right, let's do that first. So a price book, name that. So I'm gonna head over to, let's click over here, and then price book here. We're gonna create a new one, which is that, and make it active. It doesn't need a description. And I'm going to hit save. Next up is at Gen's Genwatt Diesel 1000 kilowatt sell a currency and then just basically what we did before but for the diesel 1000 kilowatt. So I'm going to head over to products. I think I have it over here already. Uh, I closed it. huh? So let's go products here. Oh Lord, product here and all product. So 1000 diesel, this one. And then we want to go to related and add a to price book. The Northwest diesel generator sales, US dollar next. And it's costing just 80500 Save and new. So next, we want to change this to the 200 kilowatt for 23000 So 200 kilowatt, not this one. So 
200 kilowatt diesel, right? The price is that. Okay, looks good. Save a new. Last one is 10 kilowatt for $4,500 only. 10 kilowatt diesel. 10 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt diesel, and the price is 4,500 and save. So we are done. So that's basically how you set up uh, product prices and price books together. Let's get the 500 points. And I'll see you on the next section where we talk about quote templates and contracts. All right, bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.